Ask for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank the panelists for being here today. I come from a very sunny state, the state of Arizona, so most of my questions are going to be on solar energy. The President's requests for solar research and development funding have not only failed to increase during recent years, but they've also failed to keep pace with inflation. This is in despite of the case that solar energy is growing stronger with each passing year, not just in the Southwest, but in states across the country and countries across the world. And solar is increasingly becoming a viable solution for some of the greatest challenges our nation faces in terms of our dependency on foreign energy. Um, in cases as well of global warming and climate change and U.S. competitiveness as well. It also is becoming more competitive in terms of a cost standpoint with coal-fired electricity. So I would like to ask Mr. Isakowitz um, specifically why the President is not committed to spending more resources on solar energy when this opportunity is presenting itself. We fully agree with you with the importance of solar energy with regards to a national strategy on energy. I think it's important to view our investments in the research part of solar energy as part of a bigger investment that's being made nationwide. And when we often look at our investments, we look at where the technologies are and, in fact, what is industry investing in, in these areas. I think solar is one of the areas that we're seeing an increasing amount of, of, of industry and private sector investment going in that area. So we tried to be much more pinpointing in terms of the investments we make within in solar. Uh, we do have a Solar America initiative, which is very important, which continues on track in terms of achieving its goals. I mentioned earlier that we have a loan guarantee program, of which uh, right now we're negotiating with uh, two firms that are trying to bring online some very innovative ideals, and uh, one for uh, uh, concentrating uh, uh, solar power uh, for, at a rather large scale, and another one where we're working on some innovative ideas with regard to uh, thin film technologies on photovoltaic. And, uh, and those efforts are actually quite considerable. And if you look at the volume of the dollars we're talking about there, they certainly surpass just the research part of it. So in addressing it, we have to consider all those things, the research dollars, what we can do in the loan program, what the private sector is doing. And so we feel that the investments we're making are adequate to, invest in, uh, to meet those needs. You mentioned concentrated solar power. I'm curious, does the CSP budget contain an increased funding for thermal energy storage? And if so, what amount? Uh, I'd have to get back to you on that one. I don't, I don't have it at my fingertips. If you would. And the other issue that I, that I wanted to bring up is this workforce training, where this Congress has had a chance to authorize workforce training, because that's something that we hear from the installers in the field and we hear from um, people around the country. They're interested in solar, but we do not have enough qualified, trained installers. Again, Congress moved forward to authorize this training, and it has not been put in the President's budget. So could you please address that? Uh, yes. I mean, I think this is something that's uh, true across the board, whether you're talking uh, the nuclear, solar, or the various other different technologies. And we recognize this is a critical area. I, I believe it was in the America Competes Act that called for investment in this area and identified some amount of funding that should be set aside to address that. And we're in the process now of doing a cross-cut to making sure that we are making adequate investments in this area. Uh, that having been said, we also recognize that our national labs are a great attraction to uh, students coming out of school and an opportunity to do research. So in more recent years, we've tried to get more aggressive out at our national labs, working with faculty and students to try to um, encourage them to pursue critical careers in these immediate skills. A couple of questions I have. The WIND program in DOE's Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy has articulated a specific goal of wind power providing 20 percent of the electricity in the United States. I want to know whether or not there's a comparable goal for solar. Um, there is a goal, and uh, I'm probably, probably going to get you back for the record on that one, but I think the goal that they have primarily set is that by, I believe the date was 2015, they tried to uh, have um, uh, solar to be cost competitive against the other technologies that are out there if you could get back to me on that. Um, and one last question. Um, Mr. Bartlett had been working with us on his interest in solar technology. And in, in terms of an amendment offered by Representative Bartlett on solar lighting and also solar air conditioning, I noticed that the President had um, failed to include that in the funding. And I was just curious why um, the President has not taken, um, again, those initiatives brought forward by Congress into consideration. Um, as in with every tight budget, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, exciting opportunities of things we can fund, and, and oftentimes in a tight budget, we just have to set some priorities. 
I know, but Mr. Bartlett's been here a very long time and is one of our smartest members on the committee. So, um, you know, if you could please bring back that consideration to the president, um, I would appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.